Custom Paint is all about making a statement, and Alex Betts and painter John Wargo came up with a radical twist on flames for Alex's dad's 63 Chevy. Uh, it's a 1963 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, it has the original rear end. It's a 308 Posi. Uh, it's got a 700 R4. I, I always wanted the 409 dual quad four speed. This one is a 340 horse. Uh, it's been totally rebuilt. Originally, we painted the car, and uh, at that time, we put air ride suspension on it. And uh, the car itself didn't handle well. It rolled a lot. The air ride uh, took a lot of that out of it. Uh, we put aftermarket tires and wheels on it and it runs down the road real well. So it was John's idea, and again, Alex's idea, that we take all the chrome off of it, the door handles, because John had just started really doing a fantastic job in airbrushing. And uh, so Alex and John talked me into removing all the chrome, filling the holes, and airbrushing it on. And, and uh, as you can see, they did a fantastic job with it. One thing that I really had no idea what the airbrushing was going to look like. So there again, John decided that he wanted to make the flames look as if they were going down through the actual chrome and coming back out of it. So uh, as he airbrushed that on, he put the tints in it that makes the, the uh, flames look and come alive and make the chrome look real. I've had uh, people go at the, come to, up to me at the car show and physically put their finger on it and not realize it's not real chrome that came on the car. From about six feet away, it's very difficult to tell it's not real chrome. The body of the 63 has certain, it's got a certain style to it, and uh, a car with a flat surface, I don't, personally, I don't think the uh, brushed on looks quite as good, but when you got that, when you got those body molds and the little formation of a body like that, it really highlights and defines the airbrush on a particular car because it stands out away from the bodies of the car or the panels of the car. And uh, John has just a knack of knowing how to tint and color the airbrush in and shade it so it really looks outstanding. We mixed a white and a black and, uh, and an orange and a yellow together and uh, came up with that, with that uh, tint to it. You got to when you build a car like that. If I build another one, you got to kind of think the process through, two or three steps ahead of what you're actually doing, so you know what you're going to have as a finished product. And so this car was a real learning experience for me, as to know, and the timing is critical, and the color combinations are. are if you've got a real uh, a paint job that's a really um, kind of a showy paint job, the interior to me needs to be just a little bit not so outstanding and uh, so what you get is you get a car that really looks good 